here is small. It was only 18 by 18 meters. Can you imagine that? You know, it's just a small fortress. And inside there were only a couple of houses. So only 20 people lived in the first village of the place. So in the 18th century, Irkutsk became the capital of Siberia. In December, in the beginning of January, it's also rare. In February and March, we have a lot of sunshine. The first Catholics in Siberia were from Poland. So in the 19th century, quite heavily actually, and their participants were sent here to Siberia. So that's how first Poles, Kusk, they built the church on the same place, but originally the building of the church was wooden. Seventy, not only the oldest building of the city, but the oldest stone structure of Irkutsk and of Siberia. Because uh, so Irkutsk, our city, was built in 1661, and this usually all the frescoes are, I mean, paintings, yeah, are yeah. inside the church, and here you can see them outside. So that's very unusual, and in fact, even historians do not know exact reason so why frescoes were put outside the building. Because climatically, it's not really that good, you know. So I mean, in the former times, at present, we need to renovate uh, frescoes almost every year. So because of the level of humidity, temperature fluctuations, and so on. For Buddhists and shamanists say that the last fresco is showing the baptizing of locals. So in fact, each nationality supports their own position. And there are still a lot of our savior, which we can see still in original. So the village, as I mentioned that before, was very small. It was only 18 by 18 meters, and maximum 20 people lived in that village at first. So inside uh, the fortress there was a church and some living houses, some um, storage houses to keep food, weapons, some agricultural objects and so on. Yeah? Here you can see the monument to the founders of the food. And the city was built by a group of Cossacks. Uh, the group was um, headed by the Cossack whose name is Yakov Pahabov. So according to the chronicles, a group of 120 Cossacks started their journey to Siberia from Moscow. And only 20 people came here, so it means that country either returned or decided, you know, to settle down somewhere in the European part of Russia or died. So only 20 people came to this place. But conditions of their first trip to Siberia were extremely difficult because people were moving through Siberia without any maps. So there was no geographic information at all about this land, you know. And people, these people, were moving only by water, by rivers. When the route of the expedition did not coincide with the route um, of the, obviously the direction of the river, people had to carry everything on themselves, you know, in hands. They carried boats, weapons, food, everything was carried in hand. 